WWE 2K24, we have gotten some more news about it. Yesterday was a huge day. We got the roster reveal. Well, some of the roster reveal, but I do have some news for you guys here now. The roster reveal was dropped again today, and it is fully accurate. You can see who's going to be in there, who's not. It is the full WWE 2K24 official roster. And yeah, that has been dropped and updated. So I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. If you guys want to go on ahead, check that out. You guys can see that Drew McIntyre has been added to the official list. Kurt Angle, George the Animal Steel. So those guys have been added already and it shows in that roster list. So y'all make sure to go check that out after you're done with this video. One of the things I do want to talk about that is a very big roster problem and that's Brock Lesnar. We have gotten the news from Mike Strong Media that Brock Lesnar will be unplayable. His character and game files are still within WWE 2K24. That means that there will be ways for those with the ability to get him to become playable. It'll just take some work to make it happen. Wow. So Brock Lesnar will be unplayable and I feel like this is the best way for you to go. Uh, when, you know, this could have caused a potential delay or a mode to be taken out the game. So... Brock Lesnar being unplayable and probably the same thing is going to be with Vince McMahon as well. So I'm not going to be surprised at what I see. Now with them being unplayable, will we be able to use them in the showcase? Because as you guys know, Vince McMahon played a role in the Rock and Stone Cold match. And then you also have Brock Lesnar ending the Undertaker streak. Will I just be able to play with them in that mode? And that's pretty much it. That would make the most sense. Uh, but they do mention that they are in the files. And there are some people out there that can go on ahead and probably pull them out. Put them on Community Creations. But right now, this is the Brock Lesnar news that we do have at the moment. And that is, you know, unfortunate, man. This whole situation, allegations and everything that's going on right now is unfortunate. And this may be the last year that we ever see Brock Lesnar in a WWE 2K game. He may be unplayable, but we may be able to use him in the showcase. And at that point, we just got to enjoy that. Because like I said, I think that'll be the last time we ever see Brock, Vince McMahon, and that'll be it. With that being said... Let's go on ahead and get into some more details. So promos. And this is all from the pro wrestling shoot. You guys make sure to go drop a sub and watch the full interview. Promos are not in the game this year, y'all. That has been announced by Brian Williams on the pro wrestling shoot. They're not going to be in. He says that they want to make sure that they do it right if they are going to bring it back. And they also want to hear the demand of fans. Now, I don't know how many more fans can demand promos back. I really think that people do want promos back. But um, I do like the fact that they're not settling just to put it back in the game because I'm not going to lie. The, the promos were nice, but I really didn't like the responses. Everything was just so generic. Just give us promos and let us just type in what we want to type in. Mission solved. <laughs> so I really hope that they give us that. And just that way you, you kind of merge the story mode and story creator in there with universe and give us more options and more of a sandbox with that as well. Someone asked a question about tag matches and Brian Williams also said that the AI is always constantly interfering so they did something so when the match is really ready to end and you want to end that match um, the AI won't interfere as much and they'll actually let the match end. Um, I kind of like this because if you play my faction and you see the 4 on 4 matches that we see there they're actually kind of insane like they'll break it up every time like you got to be careful who you knocking out this like it's just crazy so i'm i'm really glad that they're working on something like that to try and lessen the interfering and things like that so we'll see how that ends up playing out in wwe 2k24 somebody asked the 40 years of mania dlc so if you guys know we are getting a 40 years of mania if you did pay for the 120 dollars uh, edition so there is a pack in there that basically gives you real ripley charlotte bianca attires and then on top of that you're also going to receive every showcase unlockable with that pack but Brian Williams mentioned that that pack wouldn't be available until the WrestleMania 40 arena is available and built so they can go on ahead and drop that. He basically mentioned that everything will drop around the same time. And I'm hoping that that does change because I don't want to wait four months for my unlockables. At that point, why did I even pay for it? I don't mind waiting for the arena because obviously you have to wait for that. But I just really hope that they go on ahead and, and taking care of and actually give us our packs and unlockables on day one and then those who purchase that edition will get the wrestlemania 40 arena uh when it's time and when it's ready so that's just my two cents on that so i hope that they do go uh through with that as well 
And here, guys, this is a quick detail that I took from LA Knight's rating. He is an 88 overall, so very good for LA Knight. Love to see it. He got at least a 4 plus overall increase from last year, and he had a great year. So I'm definitely not upset at that, and I think it's perfect rating for him as well. But Karrion Cross, very outdated. They basically took his 2K23 look and pasted it onto WWE 2K24. I'm sure this is probably an early uh, build, but I really don't see this changing. He's completely different in this game. And I wish he had the long hair, black hair. He still has the blonde hair in the game. I don't know. It looks like they just took him. All right, we're just going to put him in 24 and I get it. You know, he had that gimmick for a little while, but it's changed for a minute now. So they had time to get this done. So I'm not sure what's going on there. So I'm really hoping that they get that worked on because boy, oh boy, that's rough. He literally looks the exact same. So just wanted to point that out there as a detail. Hopefully they do look at that. Not every detail is going to be good. Some details will be bad, but that's one of the bad ones. And Brian Williams did mention on the pro wrestling shoot that they are working on the Jey Uso entrance. So Daniel Bryan, when he had his yes chants going, you can see the crowd doing the yes chant. Brian Williams mentioned that they possibly will get the crowd doing the same motion that Jay does when he does his entrance, which I think is huge. Maybe they get it to work in the game as a patch or maybe it comes in the game, you know, because like I said, some of this is early build. So we're not really completely sure on what's from now's version to back then's version. So they did say they're working on that. And it's really exciting to hear that they're not just going to, you know, call it quits on that and not give us that. So really exciting to see what Jay Uso's entrance will look like with the crowd doing it, because that's honestly like a very just cool shot. I mean, I was at the Royal Rumble when Jay Uso came out and bro, the crowd was going ballistic. So I think this is going to be an awesome little addition and little detail to Jay Uso's entrance to really get that realism up in this game. And this is from Everything Pro Wrestling. I mentioned this a little bit in my last video, but one-on-one uh, -on -one special ref matches. This is locked to one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if it has to do with Extreme Rules. I don't know if it has to do with Hell in a Cell. But all we know is it's locked onto the one-on-one. -on -one. There are no triple threat, no tag teams, nothing like that. So very interesting on how they're going to do that. So that basically com almost confirms to me that Muhammad Ali will not be the special guest referee in that tag team match in the showcase. If it's only available for the one-on-one, -on -one, how would it be available for the tag team match for that match? So very interesting approach there. I'm not mad at it. I get it. You have to build and you have to start from ground zero now with this special ref match. It's been years since it has been in the game. So exciting to see that it's back in the game. But, you know, hopefully we do get some more options and things like that throughout the years. So really looking forward to see how they handle the one on one special ref matches. And here, guys, this is from Everything Pro Wrestling's Twitter channel. Someone asked, I was wondering for the gauntlet match, is it limited to 1v3 or can you do 1v4 or more, for example? And Brian Williams responded with all three variations of the gauntlet match, normal, eliminator, and turmoil support the following participant options of 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 20, and 30 superstars. So this is going to be a hell of a match. Um, it's not perfect by any means. But I think it's going to be a really, really fun one. And the fact that it goes up to 30 superstars is nuts. So you love to hear things like this. So I'm really looking forward to it, man. But we will see how that ends up. Some of this news is a little disappointing, but some of this news also makes me more excited for this game. So I'm excited for this game. And I just can't wait to get my hands on it, make content for you guys. But these are so far the details that we have from WWE 2K24. There is obviously more. Y'all make sure to go watch everything Pro Wrestling's and the Pro Wrestling Shoots podcast. Make sure to go check that out, man. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys did enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more WWE 2K24 news. And don't forget that we are doing a WWE 2K24 giveaway. Ends on March 1st. I will choose the winner and send them a gift card for them to buy the game for whatever console they choose. Make sure you follow the directions to me on the side and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to catch y'all. Peace.